Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to select a range of date in Flutter Table Calendar. If you're not familiar with Table Calendar package in Flutter, you can check out to our Table Calendar tutorial for beginners video. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more AI news and Flutter tutorial. So here I have created a simple table calendar widget as shown in the simulator and it can select only a single different date. In order to select a range of date, firstly we have to create two variables to store the start and end date. And both variables type have to be date time. After creating the variables, we have to add these two variables into the table calendar widgets parameter. Next, we have to create a function to retrieve and update the selected start date and end date to the created variables so that it can be reflected in the table calendar UI. This on range selected function will take three parameters which are start date, end date, and focus date. This function will mainly do four things, which are setting selected day variable to null and updating focus day, range start, and range end variable from the respective three parameters value that pass into the range selected function. Don't forget to wrap the variables in the set state function, else the UI won't rebuild. Next, we have to add this on range select function to the table calendar on range selected parameter. At this point, it should work. Let's test in the simulator. It's somehow not selecting the range. Let's check on the code. Maybe we missed out something. Alright, it's not working because we forget to set the range selection mode toggle parameter to on. This range selection mode toggle by default is set to off. So don't forget to add this parameter. Now let's retry in the simulator. Alright, now it works. The table calendar show the range of date that I selected from start to end. So if you wonder where you can get the selected range date values, you can get it from the onRange selected function. So let me add a print statement to the start and end date. For example, now when I click on 5th and 20th of July, you can see that the start and end values printed out in the console. Then you can make use of these values on your application. As a conclusion, this is how you add range selection in your Flutter table calendar. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.